here's some quick tips for you about this example with the ladder logic priming diagram. I've opened this up from the link on our Moodle page and it comes up with this document here. So just to talk you through what's going on, we've got a very short ladder logic program with an open and closed contact controlling one output. And the up and down squiggles, you might call them, our timing diagram, the convention that I've used here is a down or low state, shows that the physical input or physical output is switched off and if it's in a high state that means that it's physically turned on. So one of the tricks with this one is in our program we have M0 being a normally closed contact which means the logic for that part turns on when that memory location or memory address is in a low state. So you can see at the start here we've got the memory M0 as a low value so the logic for that part will turn on in this first square. So as we move through time we're going left to right so we're starting on the left side and moving towards the right <coughs> and we're stepping through a lot of different combinations about how this program can work. And because we have also at the first point in time our input I00 being switched off that turns off the logic for the entire line so it means that the output must also be off. When we get to our second step we can see that our input I00 is turned on and our, our memory location M0 that one still has a low value so a low value in the memory means that the logic turns on and the high value for the input means that that logic turns on. So now we've got both combinations on and on in series means that our output is allowed to turn on and then we follow through the different combinations that we see in here. We've got an on state and on with this logic but if this memory address is turned on for M0 then the logic for our program for M0 turns off. So this is the fourth square along. It shows when we have both of the values of our inputs turned on then our output has to turn off. And you can follow through the rest of these ones yourself and look at the other examples in this program. You can use the same approach for ones that are slightly more complex and just think through what are the different combinations. This one that I've just opened, scrolled down to, we've got a latching circuit, we've got an output of Q00 and we're using the same address as an input. So hopefully that's familiar to you after uh, the relays exercise. And remember that that's got a bit of a memory effect. So as soon as this output turns itself on, it gets turned on by the logic. Then the input contact on the left side for Q0, that turns on the logic in here. So you can work through that one yourself and then later on I'll be posting the answers for you to check. Good luck.